Greetings, Andy Yost here. Today I wanted to overview Shure's GLXD Advanced and help you understand how it differs in both components and in its application from the standard GLXD. In a previous video, I covered GLXD. If you haven't had a chance to see that, I'll make sure to link it below. Go back and check that one out. But that video ended like this. What if you want the feature set of GLXD for a small to medium installation or mobile rig requiring maybe four to 10 channels? GLXD Advanced is intended for small to medium installation applications in houses of worship, schools, music venues, anywhere where there is a need for six to nine or more in ideal environments, wireless systems operating at one time in one place. The way it does this is through the addition of some new components in the GLXD Advanced family particularly something called a frequency manager. But before we get into components, I wanted to cover a very important point about GLXD. GLXD operates in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. There are a lot of pros and benefits to the spectrum. However, there are some things to consider. 2.4 gigahertz is inherently crowded. It's very busy. It can look a particular way on one scan and 10 minutes later after a separate scan can look totally different. Wi-Fi networks, people filling the room, general RF noise. Because of this, the way GLXD gets around this is like this. So pretend these are traditional GLXD receivers. GLXD broadcasts your frequency, whether that be your voice, a guitar, whatever, on three frequencies, a primary and two additional, and in addition to those three frequencies, three backup frequencies. You can see these are listed here as system A, system B, and system C with their three primary frequencies denoted. The way I tend to look at that is your frequency is calling dibs on six total frequencies across this 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. They consume quite a bit of real estate. So if you have two, three, four of these systems operating at one place at one time, you can see how it can overcrowd the spectrum. So if your primary frequency gets affected or compromised, GLXD will automatically switch to an additional frequency. It does all this in the background and you don't even realize it's happening. However, because traditional GLXD are individual systems, what happens if system A's primary frequency gets compromised, but the best available frequency is actually one that has had dibs called on it by system C. System A cannot see that because they are not linked together. But what if there was a way to link these systems together so that they are all sharing their available frequencies together? Segway to the GLXD frequency manager. GLXD Advanced uses a frequency manager to merge all available frequencies into what they call a shared backup pool so that its own individual ecosystem, all routed to the frequency manager, is sharing and viewing the same pool of frequencies. Now let me get into some of the components that are really bring this into focus. There are three component differentiators between GLXD and GLXD Advanced. A frequency manager, GLXD Advanced receivers are rack mountable with detachable antennas, and the use of directional antennas are what differentiates GLXD Advanced from GLXD. To go into that a little deeper, this is what those look like. The UA846 Frequency Manager allows you to route up to six GLXD Advanced receivers to each one. If you want to add more systems, you just add an additional frequency manager. The GLXD Advanced receivers, denoted with an R for rack mount, are rack mountable, allowing you to route them to the frequency manager. The transmitters are the exact same in GLXD Advanced, by the way. Then along with it come the remote mounting accessories, particularly the passive directional antenna. PA805 is a 2.4 gigahertz specific antenna that is directional and provides a bit more rejection of interference. So to recap, GLXD Advanced is intended for small to medium installations in houses of worship, schools, music venues where six to nine systems are needed at one place at one time. Perhaps the user is not necessarily an audio person, someone who simply wants to flip a switch and walk away with very minimal RF configuration needed. The way it's able to do this is with a few new components, particularly a frequency manager that manages the frequencies of any receiver hooked to it, up to six. There you go, we hope you found this useful. Make sure you connect with us on our website and through all our social media outlets. We'll see you next time.